This evening, the government has won the confidence of Parliament. This now gives us all the opportunity to focus on finding a way forward on Brexit. I understand that to people getting on with their lives away from Westminster, the events of the past 24 hours will have been unsettling. Overwhelmingly, the British people want us to get on with delivering Brexit and also address the other important issues they care about. But the deal which I have worked to agree with the European Union was rejected by MPs and by a large margin. I believe it is my duty to deliver on the British people's instruction to leave the European Union, and I intend to do so. So now MPs have made clear what they don't want, we must all work constructively together to set out what Parliament does want. That's why I'm inviting MPs from all parties to come together to find a way forward. One that both delivers on the referendum and can command the support of Parliament. This is now the time to put self-interest aside. I have just held constructive meetings with the leader of the Liberal Democrats and the Westminster leaders of the SNP and Plaid Cymru. From tomorrow, meetings will be taking place between senior government representatives, including myself, and groups of MPs who represent the widest possible range of views from across Parliament, including our confidence and supply partners, the Democratic Unionist Party. I am disappointed that the leader of the Labour Party has not so far chosen to take part, but our door remains open. It will not be an easy task, but MPs know they have a duty to act in the national interest, reach a consensus, and get this done. In a historic vote in 2016, the country decided to leave the EU. In 2017, 80% of people voted for parties that stood on manifestos promising to respect that result. Now, over two and a half years later, it's time for us to come together, put the national interest first and deliver on the referendum.